The other day, a fan ratted you out. No way. To me. What did they say? They sent me a picture of you, and there's two, three other girls, and they're all kissing you. Seems like we haven't seen you in a long time, Eileen. Yeah, I know. You're my forbidden sister. <laughs> she said forbidden. Forbidden sister. Yeah. So I've decided to come with my mom to go pick up Elena because I haven't been home. I've been really busy with a lot of stuff. And sometimes I just need like moments to catch up with my mom, regardless if we're like upset at each other or not. How is school, cool, Mama? It's it's been okay. How is it wearing mask? Oh my it's, god, I forgot. Pretty, you normal. have to wear a mask and everything. Yeah, it feels pretty normal though. I was very concerned when I, Elena was able to go back to school, obviously because of this pandemic that we're in the middle of, you know? I just I just don't want her to get sick. Okay, wait, what about the boys? Are they cute there? I mean, I don't want to say that I have a crush on them, but... She's going through a lot of like changes in her life because of school and everything during the pandemic, and they're not normal, so it's definitely right for me to like, you know, talk to her and see if she's okay. What else is new, Elena? Well, now I, that you're nine and you don't want to wear cat ears. Well, yeah. Sorry, it's not my problem. Remember your cat ears? When I was little, I would wear my cat ears and I... <laughs> she doesn't want to uh, wear them. That's what she's trying to tell you. But I thought they were like your favorite. They were. What was up with that, Elena? I know. Well, that was something when I was seven that I really liked. Because that was such a long time ago. I started not wearing the cat ears because I thought they were a little bit, you know, too girly-ish. Mm. That's kind of sad, Elena. You're scaring me. I am not scared. Watch when you hit puberty, then you'll be like, I'm changing right now. I, why is Elena you, saying she's young and yeah. that she's changing? Why do you, you hit puberty? Do you know what puberty is? Actually, I'm not sure what that is. I am a little nervous to talk to her about puberty because this is... This is a scary moment in a, in a little girl's life. I think, you know, you start seeing changes in your body and then you start questioning stuff. And I feel like that's when it's the right time to talk to her about it and reassure her that it's okay, that it's it's part of growing up. When do you like feel it coming in? Um. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna just throw it out there, mom. You, you're gonna, you probably sugarcoated this when I was younger, but look, I'm gonna be real with you, Melina. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. When you start getting body hair, you start, your boobs start to get bigger. You start to get taller. My mom was never like honest with me like that. Like she always beat her around the bush. And then when like, you know, something happened to me, like, you know, real life, you know, situations, I was just like confused and I didn't know what to do because nobody really like told me straight up, like this is what's gonna happen and this is what you have to do. Uh, yeah, those are like some early signs of puberty. Oh. What, are you going through any of that? Do you, do you grow hairs uh, on your armpits? I wouldn't say on my armpits. Uh, <gasps> or maybe I do. Let me check. <laughs> maybe I do. Oh my gosh, Elena. Growing up, my mom was always like, you know, there for me, but then she also had the support of like my tia Lily being there. I remember like even when I got my period, she was like, she bought me like a little basket. Like <laughs> that was like a period basket. So hopefully I can be that person to Elena now that she's getting older, because obviously it's really embarrassing to come to your mom for a lot of stuff. But look, Elena, it's not a scary thing. You're just becoming like a little woman in LA. Like, you're literally like... <laughs> what? Excuse me, I'm almost as tall as you. <laughs> no, she's not a little you woman, she's getting tall. Elena, you know who's a little woman? You. No, you're you... are literally shorter than Armando. <laughs> she's literally girl. shorter than mom. You know... I'm as tall as you. You know who's so a little woman, right you? Now. Okay, I already went to puberty. <laughs> and you're a little woman. And I'm a little woman. Yeah. I hope Elena understood what we try to tell her. I mean, there's a lot of little things that she doesn't understand yet. Hopefully, as she gets to that point, we'll be able to explain to her in more details or at whatever level she understands. Okay, but I kind of have an idea, and it's been stuck in my head since I was eight. Oh, wow, because oh. that was a long That's time a ago. long time ago, girl. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if I could have a little bit of blue on my hair, Blue? Okay. It's like a little, like, Do you want strip. me to paint it? Or, like, do you want no. me to... No. Like, no. We already if know how that goes. It. We cannot have you... Well, I don't know. Our hair. Is she saying that she wants to dye her hair right now? 
Yeah, she wants to yeah. dye her hair, right? And I think it's kind of cute that Elena decided, like, made this decision on her own that she wanted to dye her hair. Okay, Elena. Wait, that sounds fun. That sounds cute. Very inspired yeah, by Elena. I'm Aileen. surprised you're literally not saying that she's too young. Um, no, I think we can give her that. I think Elena's been showing a lot of signs of maturity lately. Oh. And respect. And respect. So, I think we'll be fine. All right, so we're gonna be doing the blue. Today my friend Liz is going to dye Elena's hair blue. We usually don't do much to Elena's hair. As you guys remember, season one, we cut her hair and I was all emotional in my feels, you know? So today it's nice to see a little transition into something fun, but no haircut. So what happens with like virgin hair like this? It, it picks up really good? Yeah. Really good, yeah. Mm. the blue? I don't know how much blue. How much blue should we do, Alina? I don't know. Oh, damn. Ooh. Look at you, Alina. You're, getting, you're going blue? Yeah. Dang. It's going to burn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe me, but it's going to burn. Stop me. I don't know, Liz. Whatever you think okay. is going to look cool on her. Well, at least Aline's not doing it. I know. At least, at least we're doing this professional this yeah. time around because last time it was a disaster. Really? Yeah, when Armando yeah. did it. I, don't I was trying to go blonde, but then ended up being burgundy. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Orange. Oh my gosh! The box says blonde. Why is it brown? Because your hair was is. We didn't. Ble I don't know. We didn't bleach it. This doesn't look like this at all. Look. <laughs> all right, what are you guys gonna do, Mondo? I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna watch the YouTube. Oh, shows. we're gonna be watching a little bit of YouTube, huh? So I guess Armando invited Natalie over. It's definitely gonna be easier for me to keep an eye on them. Good thing right. we're entertained over here, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, you guys stay busy here, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this kid already, I think he's hinting us not to go over there, huh? Me and Natalie on our second date. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, today I get to learn a little bit more about Natalie. It's a Netflix and chill, but like not like that. Just we're literally watching Netflix and chilling. Okay, look, usually when someone says Netflix and chill, it means something else we're like, can't really say on YouTube, but. Now I'm really gonna go over there and take a peek. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. I think my biggest fear is that they get too close and cuddly. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to see Armando um, mushy mushy with someone. if I'm scared of your mom. Mm. I feel like we talked too long. She's gonna come in here and be like, what are y'all doing? She's gonna peep in on us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope my mom doesn't act weird. Yeah, it, it's, it's gonna happen. She's gonna do something. Always do something. go check on someone or some people. You know what? I feel like I'm pretty good at being sneaky. I'm always watching. We're watching the show and I could like feel her presence around me. It was just like, uh, you know, man, but it was just mom be mom. Nice. From my angle, they look pretty good. I don't think they're doing anything too crazy. Who's your favorite actor? Adam Sandler. Dude, sure. he's fun. Dude, his movies are all. He's classics. literally like the best comedian actor ever. Like, hey guys. What are you doing? I'm nothing. You're just creeping back there? No, no, absolutely not. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I just wanted to make sure that their hands were in the right place. They're not moving anywhere so obviously I have to go in you know I like keeping my house clean keeping my kitchen clean so I'm like let me go wipe some stuff down what are you doing cleaning <laughs> just cleaning? wanted to see what you guys were doing the house is already clean oh like, I know but it felt like a little sticky here that kitchen did not need to be clean I know I spilled some soda but I wiped it right up it looked pretty clean already I found soda on the counter <laughs> so I had to clean that up <laughs> Ma, you're like for real embarrassing me right now. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just wanted to clean. Make sure everything looks nice and clean here. You know me, guys, right? All right, let me know if you guys need anything. Bye. 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 <sighs> She's like that all the time. Really? She doesn't want to bring anybody to the house. Cleaning. Oh. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> She's behind me. I feel like um, during their date, they realize that, yeah, I'm still watching. I don't care, you know. This is my house, and I'm watching you guys, you know? I I definitely got my point across with them. Is that cool if I put my arm over you? Yeah, if you want. 
Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had a good time with Natalie. Yeah, I made a small move. I put my arm over her shoulder. I hope we can spend more time with each other. Surprise. Watch out because there's a cord right there. Watch out, watch okay, out, okay, watch wait, out. Wait, watch out. So Eddie called me and let me know that he had a surprise for me and I was really excited to see what you know he had up his sleeve. So I did something for you. Okay. Your eyes. Little movie date. How do you oh feel? my god, how cute movie is this date? a yeah, we got, got the movies out, yeah. So I walked into a really cute picnic date. It was like really cozy, like there was like little pillows and it's just it was really cute. Like I've never you know, had someone take me on a date and it'd be like so, like, just so pretty. Like, it was so cute. Say, Eileen, you are my dream date. Eileen, you are my dream date. Come on. <gasps> oh, I love it. It was, it was definitely a romantic setting. It was a romantic setting. So I was really excited. I definitely think that somebody had to help him with this or it had to be somebody else's idea because usually this is not something that Eddie would do. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers for a movie night. A movie night. I saw your video go viral the other day. Mm -hmm. That was good. It was you and your family. I was like, damn. Good you one. don't post anymore. Well, I wasn't because I was sick. Mm. And like, I had no. The one time you did post, you look like a zombie. You Have you talked to any of the um, A and I cast? Um, yeah, kind of. Girl, that whole situation with Eddie, I just feel like you should just do what you want to do. Obviously, he's doing what he wants to do. I Dude, I'm just going to be honest. Like, he posts with mad bitches. Like, on his Snap story, like, he posts with so many girls. The other day, a fan ratted you out. No way. To me. What did they say? They sent me a picture of you. Um, and there's two, three other girls. And they're all kissing you. Whenever I check my DMs, first of all, like my fans, I like to read all of them. But it's like another thing when I'm reading my DMs for a totally opposite reason, and then I get a DM from a random like fan, and it's like a picture of Eddie with like three girls kissing him on the cheek. Like, of course it's gonna bug me. Like, it's just embarrassing. I mean, that was just a party. And you know, when you go to a party, you see your other fans. Those are, those are just my fans. So. It's just weird because like in Cabo, I was kind of in the same situation when, you know, I was getting like a random DM from a person, you know, telling me stuff about like my ex. That's like the same kind of scenario that I'm getting, like the vibes that I'm getting from this. I was just like, so like weird and like triggering. And I don't really like get upset like that anymore over guys, but like for some reason it just gets me upset. Yeah, they're just friends, so nothing too serious. But speaking of serious, like us, what are, we, what are we gonna do? He's obviously embarrassed. He obviously knows what he's done was wrong. But whenever it comes up to me, like confronting him about it, like he'll just say something that's gonna, that obviously I'm gonna like to hear and then completely change the conversation because that's just how he is. Like, and I'm gonna just follow like with, and be like, okay, cute. Well, I feel like there's a lot of pressure when it comes yeah. to me and you. And I, I feel it every time we're together. I think what it is is just like the social media sees us together and like sometimes like they want to see like a thing work out but you know sometimes it won't or sometimes it's just mm -hmm. gonna, like who knows like we don't yeah I, mean, I, I have no pressure future, like yeah, we don't like, have you know, you know what I mean I feel just like taking it slow though we'll take yeah. it slow like but there's no pressure like, for yeah. us to like be together yeah. but I mean as for right now I mean we're here right now yeah. so might as well just Let's, enjoy yeah we'll enjoy it that we'll we have to learn Put on a movie, watch a movie. Okay, I'm kind of so. scared because I really don't like scary movies. This is a good movie. I love scary movies. If Eddie says that they're just friends, then I feel like I have to believe him. I mean, I do trust him, and we kind of should have like trust within our relationship. But like, it's just sometimes in the back of my mind, I'm like, there's no way. Like, friends just do that. Like, I can't sit there and post like three guys kissing me and then just say it's my friends. Like, it's weird. I don't know, she said she's inspired by you. Okay. I don't know, she said I lean, but then so she said you. Honor. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. So this is the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so... <laughs> We're winning right now. Yeah.
So Alina's hair looks super cool. She's like this cool girl and got inspired by her sister. Oh, kitty girl, turn around. Give me a, give me a side one like this. Like, like, like the way I, okay, I'm gonna show you the inspo picture and you have to recreate it, I okay? think Alina goes like that, right? We even got some poses and some cool Instagram pictures. I could totally see the difference from her birthday picture to that day, how she just totally transformed into this little big girl. So I like it and I'm excited for her. My little trendsetter. So I know you're young, like yeah. you're meeting a bunch of other people. Like, so you talk to, obviously get to know a bunch of other guys. Yeah. You're talking to other guys and like... Like I have guy friends, yeah, but I'm like... So like, you see Mando as like a yeah. best friend type. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my show. Make sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of Growing Up Eileen.